so this is our farm looks like way back two to three years ago it's almost bare mostly of grass and mango trees there were only a few bananas and then until then we decided to plant more bananas and sweet potatoes and in this video as you notice the that was the bananas that we planted on our last visit the bananas by this time looks like two to three years old huh? and then my brother also decided to plant the sweet potatoes but unfortunately this first attempt was a failure because it was coming to summer and we didn't realize that the sweet potato needs water to establish and the big problem on our farm is the water access so that was a big problem that was a failure and early this year my brother wasn't able to come back to the farm because of the pandemic he was they were on a lockdown you cannot travel from different province to province so he have to stay home but luckily we are so fortunate that my uncle was there to look after the farm and he's also our caretaker wow so luckily my brother was able to go back to the farm after the lockdown was eased down in our place and also in their place going to our farm and i asked him to video to take a video on our farm since we are not there we are not we can't be able to travel yet so this is now the update on our farm um, after we visited more than 12 months and as you can see now the sweet potatoes are growing and the bananas that we planted are also growing well and those small bananas um, my uncle just replanted them and this one here are all bananas that my father planted way back a few years ago and as you can notice the leaves of the banana trees needs to be clean or trimmed they need to be clean because the banana leaves the dried or brown or with yellow leaves as from what i have re i've researched can cause also a um, contamination if there is a disease so that should be trimmed down and that needs to be really clean so i have to tell them about that that needs to they need to clean the bananas and here before as you can see here now it's now covered with sweet potato before it was covered with grass but we are now happy with this with the outcome of our hard work to be honest it is our first time to do the banana farming and also the sweet potato we are still in the learning process we we still need to to learn more that's why we have to do more research and ask people who knows how to plant this well so we are still on the learning process so we're not expert on this and i've noticed here the sweet potatoes now have flowers so i think that's an indication that the harvest is going to happen soon and we, now we are happy with the outcome of this um what i'm showing you now is what we planted just inside uh, inside the fence on my next video which is part two i'll be showing you the plants that they planted outside the fence so i'm hoping that you will watch for that so yeah we are so happy with this so even though we are not there but things are still growing and it's still working because my uncle was there he was looking after the farm and also a good thing that my brother now is able to travel to the farm at least he can give my uncle a hand so we're really happy with this